Dealing with the lower parts of the brain, I mean, and subconscious. Um, if you don't acknowledge it in your definition of humanity, then they will appear as monsters. But if you've already accepted that, then they appear more human. Yes. I've been learning like something. It. It's with Thunderblight. <laughs> Thunderblight keeps coming back. <laughs> she keeps coming back, bro. She's <laughs> not gonna stop. I would really. Okay, if I have to be bluntly honest, Liz, I would fear if like if Thunderblight ever encountered my daughter. Okay. I mean, if it, it's one thing I have not done yet, it's completely lucid on a child. No. Yeah, that's... Never done that. I'm glad you haven't. Are you serious? Are we oh, trouble what now? now? Uh, Cowboy game. Junior. If, if Keyframe dressed up as die, Anakin Skywalker, zombie. would her nickname be Bananakin? Thunderblight comes back more often than Voldemort. Thunderblight comes back more often than Naraku and Inuyasha. Thunderblight <laughs> comes back when I'm angry. Yeah. Just that simple. She's also, she's also technically only come back like in a real official capacity like once. That's yeah. been completely. I'm just, I'm just. Until her ghost returns. I'm just, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm just clowning, bro. No, God damn it. I'm gonna keep it a book. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. My dog ass don't know shit about the storylines going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I ain't been paying attention. I lost that shit like halfway through. Uh, I think some pony died or something. Did know. they? What season? Uh, the one with the, it was the pony with the four hooves and stuff. Damn, bro. That was my favorite character. What the fuck? No. God dang it, Master Code. Yeah, it's me. Master Code coming in. Everyone knows it's Master Code. Da 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 da. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. I'm tired. I can't help it. I really cannot help it. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Drink, drink some caffeine. I had two cups of coffee today. If I have another, if I have another, I will shake like a rattlesnake tail. <laughs> That's how you know it's working, bro. <laughs> uh, no. That's Again. how you know you're going to guarantee a heart attack. <laughs> Again, again, don't listen to me. I am a bad influence. Nobody listen to me. <laughs> Trust me, I've learned the hard way multiple times. Yeah, you need a good influence, like me. Shut the fuck up. I, I'm, I'm a good influence, says Mathico. Shut that shit up! <laughs> shut, shut that shit up! What the fuck? The Love you, Master Code. Oh. I'm gonna I'm keep it a buck. Like, Fuck, I realized I, I went back and like I didn't I didn't subscribe to everybody again. I've been in here for like two weeks and I haven't subscribed. Hey Mesco, since I don't think I've ever asked you. Uh oh damn yeah. it. If you could teach Bliss a magic lesson, what would it be? Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to think back of the ones you've done previously. Uh yeah. Oh, uh, how to lie in court! <laughs> how to, have you done? How to illegally file tax? Let's see, oh, wait. Uh, how to file? <laughs> have you uh, done with like a uh, map? Picture of my OC. If you have a Discord, you can message me for a bit, and I can send you a picture of my OC because I don't have it on any form of media yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Right, you were saying, dude? I I did have one idea, which is kind of like a. Uh, um, uh, it reminds me because I can't remember at the moment, but have you ever done a uh, lesson with like a uh, magical endurance, like lifting heavy objects for like long periods of time while doing other activities? Well, it's like on weird occasions, oh, she is able to like, Fuck. well, I mean, she can lift them. <laughs> I'm going to replant all of these. God damn it. <laughs> Curse you, Jack in the Box. Um. 
Um, I'm trying to think what is the heaviest thing she's lifted. Besides the minigun. <laughs> she's never- I don't think she's ever lifted Twink. And he would be the heaviest thing in her channel. Like there was, uh, because we had she, talked about oh, it a long time. She lifted a tree when she was a baby. Ooh, All right. <laughs> oh, that it's another one of those under things. Great amount of duress. Because uh, I did have this one oh, idea. Shit. I think you and I we talked about it briefly, like a couple of years ago or something like that. Like if we ever did a magic lesson, it was something like, um, and I would actually be ripping off one of the answers to my other reviews. But anyway, oh, I misplanted. It was something it. like where, um. Like, uh, you would come aboard my ship, and you would come into, like, uh, my simulation room, or what have you, and there would be, like, uh, or, or just some room on my sh uh, ship in general where uh, you would, like, practice, like, lifting all of my, like, multiple, multiple ton heavy, like, robots while firing at, like, various targets or something like that, and somehow go it gets out of control and <laughs> breaks down, and you... Something like that. I never really expanded upon it, but it was something kind of like that. <laughs> I know this would be ripping off Thespian and Jasper a little bit, but I thought it would be auto tuning. <laughs> 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 hold, hold up, hold, hold up. I lost, I lost the conversation. Well, that could be the, that could be the montage while while training. That could be the montage seeing we we could like parody some song or something like that and, or come with some short I don't know so, something we could do, we could do that <laughs> secrets of master code that was like the best favorite thing I've ever done with him yes master code. now I have to find it again master code has a ship <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah. Master Code has a shit. Wait, uh, wait. Fuck. He rocking, uh, he rocking uh, the Pacific uh, Cruise shoot. Liner? What was it? Uh, <laughs> it was the Monier. Or the Monier. Oh, what, what was the episode? The, uh, the. Why am I blanking? We were what was reviewing, what was... uh. Um. It was the one with, uh. Oh, it's Rara. Ra -ra. So yeah, Rara. Ra. The main that attraction. Main attraction. Yeah, main yeah. attraction. That was it. The... Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. See, Maybe Bliss can do a magic lesson in using the Royal Canterlot voice. No, I'm so jealous of Mastico because he did that so well. My song sucks. Uh, uh, okay, there the, we go. The Royal Canterlot voice. <laughs> I don't know about hey, you, but I think I. Hello, layer. I think I got it is. <laughs> God, that didn't last long at all. Yep, I love it. I think I've got the Royal Canterlot voice on lock. Ooh. And that's just me being me. Like, no cap, I'ma keep it a buck. That's just how I sound on a daily basis. If they need to hear you from Ponyville, all the way from Saddle Arabia, let me come over, I'll teach you a lesson. I mean, you are good at volume, Vladdy Daddy, you are I good at volume. My volume control is like a step up. It goes like. It no, goes wait, like are, you gonna do, are you gonna do that thing? Mine goes up to 11. It's like. <laughs> you know what I'm referencing? Yes, yeah. yeah, uh, it's one more, more than 10. This is spinal tap. It goes, it goes like rock, like concert subwoofer, Matsu Man, Randy Savage, me. <laughs> oh, yeah! Dig it! Oh yeah, brother! You ever heard of a Slim Jim? You don't know how many tube of meat that you snap into! Spice! Slim into the spice, I've been fighting the four horsemen of the apocalypse! <laughs> you turn into Mr. Krabs later on. Why are you channeling Mr. Krabs ever so slightly? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Kra Have you seen uh. Mr. Krabs in action, bro? That dude packing! Armor has to, want to see Mr. Krabs in action. <laughs> y'all remember that? Y'all remember that episode of uh? Y'all remember that episode that where uh, or the movie when Mr. Krab got frozen? How was he standing on ten perk? How he stand on ten perk? Uh, I don't know. I, I was frozen today. Damn it! That's a classic. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember renting that movie from my local library and watching. I am it, like, so sorry. 
That was a terrible movie. What are you? What are you talking about? I love that movie. That was a horrible movie. <laughs> it's, it's nah, man. It's Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, the shit. It's like so it's like uh, Three Ninjas Three: Hulk. Return Let's to Thunder Mountain. Classic game. Okay, I may look into that. No, apparently it's looked at as a quote unquote bad movie because Doug Walker. No, like almost any movie that Doug Walker reviews, it's automatically looked at as a bad movie instead of you know looking at it and examining it for yourself. Yeah. Here, here's the things. Here's the things I do with nostalgia critics reviews. I, I, I take them, I, I burn them onto a DVD, and then I throw it in the fucking trash. <laughs> You're trash, wasting your resources doing that. Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> it's like when I it's it's like when I went to GameStop to trade in my copy of Dead of Dead Island Three and the dude fucking threw it in the garbage. Or not Dead oh, Island Dead Three. Island. It was just normal. De it was normal Dead Island. I was gonna and he just, say Dead Island Two he just, hasn't even no, come out, man. He just he just looked at it and went, oh, he threw it in the fucking garbage. He was like, we have so many of these. They're they they're, they have no value. Hey, the first Dead Island's actually pretty decent. Yeah, but a lot of people traded it in because like once you played through it, it had like no replay value. I guess I've I've re I've replayed every few years. I, no, I that, went through that's still I, bad though. If GameStop is throwing them away, holy shit! Oh, like fuck. if games if if GameStop, whose stock <laughs> is like abysmal right now, is throwing that shit away. I mean, I used to work at GameStop, and I don't remember us throwing away any copies of Dead Island. They when I went to the one that was nearest to my nearest to where I used to live, it might be different in other locations, but I don't Son know. Son of a bitch! Boy, they're really Bitch. going for the bottom row here. Jesus. I love Cowboy, cow, Cowboy <laughs> Janier, he's just a critic that is no longer nostalgic. Yeah. Oh. He is not wrong. No. Didn't he, address, didn't he address that in one of his videos, though, where he was like, isn't anything that, like, once you've gone to see it in theaters and then you go back and look on it fondly, isn't that nostalgic? No. No, motherfucker. No. Nostalgic is something that's from a long time ago. That's yeah, when he it's... brought back the nostalgic critic after he killed him off into Boldly Free. Yeah, it's it like... Was, uh, the review that goes on was, like, the episode that he, like, brought him back and shit. Yeah, it's like, no, nah, stop. Just... You're just a critic now. It's okay. You can just say that. Stop. And get some help. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> this is this is crap. I just I just don't understand why he would sell the intellectual property of the nostalgic critic to Mike fucking Mashad. Like what the fuck, man? Money. I don't know either. Probably didn't. It could be that he did that. Being rid of it. You, yeah, you cut did. off, Peter. Try again. It could be that he did it because he thought he was getting rid of Nostalgia Critics and probably didn't even care about the legacy of it. And then when he had to come back, he realized, oh fuck, maybe this was a mistake. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck. Because I, I could see him just throwing it away because he thought originally he was going to nothing to do with it and therefore didn't care. And only for, them to, for that to bite him in the ass, like, after he realizes, oh fuck, I need this back. Yeah. Upgrade. Oh fuck, wait, go back. I remember when I used to look up to the fucker. Same, man. Same. <sighs>